Jason Momoa has implied that there's a 4-6 to six hour cut of the Dune movie. In this episode, we will be exploring if there is any truth to this. Let's fight like demons. So Jason Momoa spoke to the New York Times. He says, I saw a preview screening of Dune. And then he says how cool it was. But then he also offers a suggestion by saying, you know what they need to do? They need to make the four to six hour version of the first half. It's like, let's watch the four to five hour movie like a TV show. I can choose when I want to watch the whole thing. I want to see Denis' whole vision. I don't want it to be trimmed. Now there's a lot to unpack here, so bear with me. Now, I know that Jason Momoa has seen the film at least two times, and I believe the cut he's speaking about is the assembly cut of Dune. So this will be extensive scenes of the Dune movie, unedited or quite raw in its assembly. It's not the final cut that he's seen. So the cut that he has seen, the assembly cut of Dune, may be longer in length than the standard cut we are getting. So it may have been over three hours long easily. But I think what Jason Momoa is referring to here is something a little more specific. And I don't think this is generally known, so I'd like to enlighten you on this issue. There are some changes to the script, as people may know who have seen the IMAX special event and the first 10 minutes of the Dune movie. The beginning of the 2020 script for Dune differs to the opening of the Dune movie that many of you have seen. Rather than Charlotte Rampling, who is playing Gaius Helen Mahame, the Bene Gesserit Reverend Mother, rather than a voiceover from her, we're getting a voiceover from Chani played by Zendaya. A longer opening sequence of the Dune movie was shot with Chani and a raid on the Harkonnen spice harvesters. It wasn't just a short opening like we see in the IMAX preview, it was a much longer sequence with Chani and the Fremen attacking the Harkonnen harvesters essentially. So that would have been a longer sequence, which Jason Momoa may have already seen in his assembly cut. We then get a scene which has been cut from the Dune movie entirely, which was a sequence where Jason Momoa's character, Duncan Idaho, drops from space to Arrakis and lands on the ground. And I believe this is to establish contact with the Fremen in the beginning, before the Duke Leto and his house arrives on Arrakis. We get a sneak peek at this sequence in the behind the scenes footage which aired with the first Dune trailer. The entire sequence was shot and filmed. It was filmed partly in Budapest, incorporating similar technology as the Mandalorian series on Disney+, Plus, using giant screens to get an accurate reflection of Arrakis from space all the way until the final landing. And then it was filmed in Jordan to complete the shot where he lands on the grounds of Arrakis. Just imagine how cool that sequence could be. Duncan jumps out of his ship, free falling from space to Arrakis. All you can hear is his heavy breathing. and then he suddenly enters the atmosphere. I'm 100% Jason Momoa wanted to see it in the final cut of Dune. Again, this may be another scene that Jason Momoa is referring to in his assembly cut that he has seen. This sequence does not make it into the final cut, it has been omitted completely. But hopefully it will appear on the DVD or Blu-ray when it is released. A guess at what may be omitted from the Dune film is the death of a certain character. If you don't want to be spoiled, I suggest you skip this part. Yui's death by stabbing of a fork. I don't believe that this will make the final cut. I think it may be too gory for the PG rating. I could be wrong, but maybe this has been only suggested instead of pure visual gore. The scene with the Sardaukar and their bloodletting ritual of the prisoners before war was originally intended to be a lot more graphic. Original concept art of this scene featured all the prisoners naked. 
I'm not sure whether this was shot naked or whether or not they were wearing underwear originally and then it was supposed to be removed digitally for the final cut but they were originally intended to be stark naked and of course in the scene in the trailer they are not so perhaps Warner Brothers asked Denny to try to make this a PG-13 film by omitting and changing some things which he would have felt comfortable with. I don't believe the final film that we're going to get is a film that Denny doesn't like. I believe that he's going to like this movie, he's going to be happy with the final cut. So I don't believe there is going to be a special cut. Although having all of these scenes included and having the purely raw imagery and the lengthy scenes of Dune would be a joy to watch. But you never know. This is entirely new ground for Denis Villeneuve. He's never done a two-part movie before although originally Blade Runner 2049 was supposed to be a two-part four-hour epic but this was never released so we may never get to see this four to six hour dune cut if it even exists he's never done a movie on this scale before he's never done a movie that caters to or tries to cater to such a, a wide audience before even though this is dune we're talking about here which is very niche in itself so who knows, perhaps there may be a longer cut that Denis wants to put out there one day, but I'm not holding my breath for that. I believe that the cut we're going to get in the cinemas and on HBO Max is the final cut and a cut that Denis is happy with. And of course, Jason Momoa is coming off of the back of release the Snyder cut, release the Iyer cut. So this is something that he's used to hearing and seeing and they've enjoyed a certain amount of success with the Snyder cut cut being released so it doesn't surprise me that he is calling for the Villeneuve cut but I find his words very interesting he says let's watch the four to five hour movie like a tv show and this is something I've been advocating since way before the movie was even a thing I wanted Dune to be a TV show and for him to say that Dune could become a TV show is satisfying, I can't lie. I would happily watch Denis Villeneuve's Dune in parts if need be for four to five hours or six hours. I don't care about the length, I don't care about people's attention spans, I don't need to worry about losing my attention when it comes to Dune. Take me to Arrakis, let me spend some time there, six hours is good for me. And then of course Jason Momoa says he doesn't want the film to be trimmed. And of course we don't want that. We want Villeneuve's full vision. And I believe that that's what we are going to get. And if it comes to the surface that a lot has been cut, well we'll definitely want to see those scenes. And hey, I'd be the first to promote that. So many different deals could have been struck with HBO. They could have held back on releasing the Dune film on HBO Max. And instead what they could have given people was later on, further down the line, they could have released a longer cut on HBO Max. Everyone would have been happy, the normal theatre goers would have been happy with the cut they see, and then people who wanted a, an extended cut could have seen it later on, but it would have given the film time to earn its money at the theatres. But hey, I'm not the one making the deals here, I'm just a bystander. But what do you guys think? Do you think there is a four to six hour cut of the Dune movie? Do you think Warner Brothers finally did tamper with the Dune film and release a watered down version to make it a PG-13? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, see you soon.